Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video series here on my channel. I only got the idea for this um, yesterday, so we'll see how this goes. But basically what this series entails is that um, I will be uploading these short tutorial-like videos on how I make most of my add-ons and my SMPCs. We'll start off simple and we'll go more in-depth, like more complex features as we go on. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Basically how I make my add-ons. Pretty simple stuff. But yeah, this is the first part, so the first part is gonna be, you know, like, really basic bottom-of-the-barrel stuff, so yeah, let's get started. Alright, so first things first, you're gonna wanna go to Gary's Mod, obviously, and right-click. Then you're gonna wanna go to Manage and Browse Local Files, this will kick you straight to the game files. Then you go to Gary's Mod and Add-ons, this is, uh, your add-ons folder. <laughs> this is where you're actually gonna make your add-on. So you're gonna start a new folder, and uh, this is gonna be the name of your add-on, basically, so what you wanna call it. So yeah, we're gonna be calling it Tutorial SMPC. I misspelled it. Alright, now once you're in the folder, you're gonna wanna make a whole load of subfolders, so here we go. One's gonna be called Lua. This is for everything code related. One's gonna be called Materials. This is sprites and icons and stuff like that. And then the last one is called Sound. Do I need to say what it's for? Anyways, then we're gonna go into the Lua folder and create a folder called Entities. This is gonna be for, you know, your actual SMPC's code. There's also another folder you can add in here called Auto Run, but I don't know why you'd need it. The stuff in here automatically runs when you start Gary's Mod, so like particle effects and any other script that you want, but we're gonna be dealing with that later. Your subfolder doesn't need any subfolders unless uh, you're very organized, in which case you can just create folders for whatever the hell you want and materials needs another folder called entities like so and yeah now you're basically ready to go so when making an smpc you're gonna need an smpc base basically something to build it off of because nobody codes things from scratch <laughs> my smpc base is chaser from unnerving smpcs one because he's very simple and uh i use this base for literally anything that i make since it's extremely easy. So this is your file name, npc underscore drg underscore chaser. It does not matter what your file name is. It doesn't need like npc drg underscore whatever the hell. Like you can just type this and it would still work. You can include capital letters, symbols, emojis. It seriously doesn't matter. But for the sake of organizing, this is what it looks like for me at least. So we're gonna do tutorial. Shit, there we go. All right, let me just uh, show you around. For making SMPCs, I recommend a text editor like Notepad++. It's just very easy. Most of this stuff doesn't really matter, so I'll just go through the stuff that needs editing. Print name. This is gonna be your SMPC's display name. I'm just gonna change it to tutorial. Category is the category in the uh, NPC's subsection in the spawn menu. You can name this whatever you want. For the sake of this video, I'm naming it tutorial. Collision bounds doesn't really matter. It's just your NPC's hitbox. Spawn health, I have it set to 999999. Uh, I mean, this isn't so the NPC has god mode or something. I just set it to bogus number. Basically, if uh, it didn't have this little god mode function right here, it could be killed, but it would just have 999999 health. So, um, yeah, it is unkillable as long as you have this in the on spawn function. Models, this is gonna be your model, quote unquote. I could make a tutorial all about 3DS NPCs, but this is for 2D only if I could make a separate series for that. I I always add this line right here. The model doesn't matter what it is. I just added this model in particular so the NPC isn't like a giant square by default. You all know what that would look like if you're more familiarized with the Trolls SNPCs. So I just add this to make the hitbox nearly invisible since you won't necessarily be needing it anyway for NPCs and killable. But yeah, you can set the health to whatever you want. Anything that isn't over 2.1 billion after that the game will break. On idle sounds. This is a sound that your NPC is going to be playing when he does anything basically it doesn't matter and on idle sound delay this does nothing this does not affect anything whatsoever and here in the sounds folder you're gonna have well whatever sound you want to play you're meant to put the file name and the file type if you want multiple sounds to play you can put a comma here and then another sound here if you're interested like so the final sound should not have a comma and if you have more than one sound they're gonna play in a completely random order if you want your sound to loop the file type should should be dot wave or else it'll break but yeah then you have uh the enemy's reach i guess um the range of the melee attack and how close it can get before attacking 
And if the NPC is scared of you, avoid enemy ranges right here. Obviously, if you want your NPC to have more reach, then you can change these values. Have them set to 101, 100, and 0, respectively. I don't know why you would want to change this unless you're making like a giant NPC who can kill you from a kajillion miles away. Animations, your sprite folder. Literally, if you go to the materials folder, you just add like an extra folder here, which is gonna have your sprites for your SNPC. Tutorial. Let's get some sprites. For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna get a smiley face. The sprite can be literally whatever you want. It does not matter. If you want your SNPC to have one animation only, you will call it idle. Every single animation must have two frames, even if it's the exact same PNG. If it does not have two frames, your game will crash. So yeah, and we'll also get tutorial.wave. We'll get a file later. Frames per second, literally the FPS rate your animation will play at. Customize this to your liking. Then we have your jump, idle, walk, and run animations. If your SMPC is gonna have multiple animations, then obviously you're gonna need to make a few more. So for example, if your SMPC is gonna have a walk animation, you can create a separate animation for that. Walk one and walk two. The animation doesn't have to be called walk, like you can name it whatever the hell you want and it'll still work. But you must insert the animation's name right here or else the game won't know what you're talking about. So, um, yeah. My SMPC only has one animation, so we don't necessarily need one. This stuff doesn't really matter. If you want your SMPC to climb stuff, just replace everything with true and it'll work. Oh, and you also need a climb animation if you care about that. Or you could just set it to idle. So it'll be the same as your idle animation. As well as the animation rate. We may as well just add true for fun. Model scale, this is how big your SNPC is. One I'd say is the default SNPC size, if you will. Change this to your liking. The bigger the number, the bigger the SNPC. And yeah, that's all the main stuff done. I offset, you do not need to change this. This doesn't mean anything. Possession, if you want your SNPC to be possessible, just add this lump of code and press true or change this to true. This possession function is extremely bare bones. My SMPC is possessable, but all I can really do is move and jump. Like I don't have any attacks or other functions programmed. I'm gonna make another video for possession modes. We'll talk about this later. Factions, think of this as your SMPC team. We're gonna set up to the tutorial faction. Your faction can be called whatever you want, but it must have faction underscore at the start. And basically SMPCs that share the same factions will be friends by default and will work as a team, if you will. If server then means nothing, you shouldn't worry about this. Custom initialize. Stuff that runs automatically once you, you know, spawn the SNPC in. So obviously this is gonna be the default and player's relationship. There's only four things you can set this to. D underscore LI for like, D underscore NU for ignore, D underscore HT for hate, and D underscore FR for fear. Self sprite anim event idle. Basically what this function means is that whenever the SMPC runs the idle animation, think of this as a function. If it runs the idle animation, you can make it run an extra function when it is, well, running its idle animation. We could talk about this more in depth in a different video, but we don't really need this right now. Custom think and door code. Uh, this is all for opening doors. This doesn't mean anything. And walk speed and run speed. Do I need to say what these do? Higher the number, the faster. Lower the number, the slower. That's all. I'd say 900 is uh, the, devo the default speed for a next bot, so you don't necessarily need to change this. If you want, you can also do end acceleration and end deceleration. Shit, I need to do all caps. There we go. This essentially controls how fast your SMPC will accelerate and or decelerate. If you want a super fast SMPC for whatever reason, just replace every single number with like 9999 and then you're done. But you shouldn't worry about this. Function and sign. This is the SMPC's attack. When it comes too close to you or whatever value you set it to, this is how it's gonna work. It's just gonna run an attack function. Basically, attacks and SMPCs are just these big radiuses, and anything caught in the radius will take a specific amount of damage. I have it set to 100 damage, so basically insta-kill, unless you, like, um, use mods to increase your health. Range, this is your attack's actual range, like, from what distance it can kill people if the function gets triggered. Delay, if you want your attack to have any delay, this is in seconds, just set a number. And radius. 
basically the same thing as range. This doesn't matter. The damage type, there's like 30 goddamn damage types. For example, if you want your SMPC to do poison damage, you do DMG underscore poison. If you want your SMPC to stun on attack, you do DMG underscore paralyze. Such and such and such and such, there's so many of them. Damage types are really fun to mess around with. I could do another video specifically for those. And the angle which your SMPC can kill you at. I have it set so that it, so that it can only kill you if you're facing it. If you want the SMPC to kill you from any angle, just set this to 360. Function self-hit. Run a function if your attack actually hits. I have a bit of a self-emit sound template here. We can talk more about this function, at, like, right about now. Self-emit sound. Whenever this function is ran, it'll play a sound. You just need to write what sound you want to play, and it's file type like before. So basically, if my attack hits, it's gonna run this file. You can also run a function for if your attack misses, else self-emit another sound. It doesn't have to be self-emit sound, the function can be anything really. Alright, let's get into your main functions. So we got function entity on melee attack. Basically, once your SMPC is in range of the player, it's gonna run this function, like it's gonna run its melee attack. And when it runs its melee attack, it's gonna run, obviously, self-sign. This is obviously gonna run the whole damage script, which is what kills the player. Again, you can put anything here, it doesn't matter. A sound, an animation, even. If you want your attack to have cooldowns, you can run, like, a little animation script. It goes like this. Self, play, sprite, anim, and wait, like so. And here, you just add the name of the animation that you want to play once the attack is performed, and the rate which it'll play as. Did I say as? I mean at. Easy as. On range attack, if you want your SMPC to have a range attack, you can put whatever the hell you want here. But be wary, if you don't go all the way back to the top and add entity range attack range and whatever range you want, it won't work. So you need to add the range at which the range attack will trigger, if you know what I mean. Entity on idle. Basically, when a Gmod SMPC is idle, basically not chasing anything, it picks a random spot on the map and then walks towards that spot. Once it reaches that spot, the cycle repeats. So yeah, this is basically controlled by this function right here. Self add patrol pause. And this is the maximum distance in which he can travel. So basically, the bigger the number is, the farther he will go when he is in his auto state. On death, if you want the SMPC to do something when he dies, add whatever function you want here. And on spawn, if you want your SMPC to run a function when it spawns, I have self-set god mode. Again, you can run whatever the hell you want here. Some uh, other notable functions are self-remove, which removes the SMPC, and self-summon, which honestly deserves its own video. Another function which you can add is function entity on reached patrol. Basically what this function does is once um, the SMPC has reached its, um, you know, idle destination, you could like, mm, I don't know, for example, you could run like self wait to like, if you want the SMPC to wait a bit before running its idle state again, you can probably see a few SMPCs do this. And yes, this number is in seconds. Entity on remove. If you want your SMPC to run something when it gets removed, obviously. Function ent on new enemy. When the SMPC gains a new enemy, essentially a target to chase after, you can make it to, you can make it like run something when it does so. And then there's also on last enemy. Once it runs out of enemies, you can make it do something else. So yeah, those are basically the basics. <laughs> really bottom of the barrel stuff extremely simple. So right here, all we necessarily have is a chasing next spot with no mechanics. Another function you can run is self jump. If you want your SMPC to jump when it spawns. <laughs> and then you just set the jump height. It can be whatever the hell you want. The higher the number, the higher you jump. Now let's get a sound for our SMPC. Yeah. I got my sound for our little basic SMPC, it's just static. And then, if you want, this is completely optional, you can get a spawn icon for the SMPC. I'm gonna just show you guys how I make my icons. I use this software called Pixlr E, and it is really damn useful. Say, so yeah, I just get the SMPC image, like so. Then I just add an empty layer and give it a background. This can be whatever color you want, so I'm just gonna make it black because that's what I always use. Then you overlay the image on top of the background and there you go. Now you're gonna want to add some text. This is the tutorial SMPC. Now you may notice that the text is really hard to see. Obviously black on black doesn't fit so we can give it a different color. Yellow suits it nicely but it's still really hard to see so what I do is go into here, 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 here and then uh, boom you're done. Give your text a bit of an outline so that it's seeable. Then I pick the right font. 
Right now, it seriously doesn't matter, so I'm just gonna pick uh, Aberish, aka the most overused font ever. <laughs> Place it at the bottom or at the top or wherever the hell you want, and boom. Then you add some filters. Normally, I add Vignette, Glamour, which um, I really like, Bloom, and then the classic glitches. We have RGB Split, Scan Lines, Interference if you want, but it looks pretty ugly, and a little bit of Noise. And boom, there is your icon, 10 out of 10, epic. Then you just export it. and the the icon file name must be the name of your Lua file. So in this case, in this case, it's just NPC DRG tutorial. Boom. All right, let's cr let's just crack open Gmod and let's test out our NPC. All right, everybody, Gmod is finally loaded. Jesus Christ, uh, I think it's been like 30 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, it is time to test right here. Tutorial. Boom. There is our SNPC. And yeah, it literally just chases after you. Wow. And yeah, you can make a do whatever the hell you want. From what I've showed you, I will upload more tutorials soon on how to customize this guy. But yeah, pretty bare bones. Uh-oh. But yeah, that's how the SNPC works, and that's kind of the end of the video. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next tutorial, where we'll go more in-depth. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Bye.